In this video, we're going to find the coordinates of the non-stationary points of inflection for y equals x to the 4 minus 2x cubed minus 36x squared. OK, so first of all, find the first derivative. So that's 4x cubed, take away 6x squared, take away 72x. So we're going to want to find the stationary points first. So we want to solve this cubic. OK, so I'm going to use my cubic solver on my calculator to do that. OK, I mean, if you wanted to do this algebraically, factor the x out and then factorise the quadratic that you have left. So 4 minus 6 minus 72 and 0. Right, so we get x is 0, or x is 3 plus or minus 3 root 33 over 4. OK? Right. So that's, uh, that's where the stationary points are. So there are three stationary points. So the second derivative, we get uh, 12x squared take away 12x take away 72. OK, so we want to put that equal to 0. Okay, so using the quadratic solver, 12 minus 12 and minus 72, we get 3 and minus 2. Okay, so uh, 3 and minus 2 are definitely not stationary points. Okay, so uh, they may be points of inflection. Okay, we need to double check that they're going from concave to convex or vice versa, either side of the point. So, if we check for the second derivative, let's look at uh, x is 3 first. So we're going to check, uh, let's say, 2.9 and 3.1. OK. So we're going to substitute 2.9 and 3.1 to the second derivative and see what we get. Uh, so 2.9. Um, right. So we've got 12 lots of 2.9 squared, take away 12 lots of 2.9, take away 72. So that's minus 147 over 25, and so we've got a negative value. And substituting in 3.1, we get 153 over 25, which is positive, and so we're going from concave to convex, okay? And so uh, x is 3 is definitely a non-stationary point of inflection, okay? So substituting 3 into the y gets me the y-coordinate. Oh, sorry. Uh, well, we've got 3 to the 4. Take away 2 lots of 3 cubed. Uh, take away 36 lots of 3 squared. So that's minus 297. OK, so that's one of them. So now we want to check the minus 2. So d2y by dx squared and d2y by dx squared. Right, so for minus 2, we'd have to look at minus 2.1 and let's say minus 1.9. OK, so minus 2.1 going into the second derivative, 12 lots of minus 2.1 squared, take away 12 lots of minus 2.1, take away 72, and we get 153 over 25, which is positive, so that's convex. And then substituting in minus 1.9, 12 lots of minus 1.9 squared, take away 12 lots of minus 1.9, take away 72, is minus 147 over 25. Spooky, eh? Right? So <laughs> negative, and so that's concave. And so we're going from convex to concave, and so we've got that change of sign uh, in the second derivative. And so minus 2. 
x is minus 2 is definitely a non-stationary point of inflection. So we've got to find its y-coordinate. Um, substituting that in to the y equals uh, gets us minus 112. Okay, And so those are the two non-stationary points of inflection for this curve.